were starting to track our patients here at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab during their therapies um, throughout the day using sensors. If you look at what's in the hospital today, um, you know, most of the sensors require wired connections to external boxes of electronics. So it's great if you're in a hospital bed, maybe it's okay. Uh, but if you want to go home, it's just not going to be compatible with uh, natural daily activities. The sensor itself, I, I couldn't even tell was on me. It was like a bandage. It really allows you to track the patient continuously, but in a way that's not disruptive. We're measuring their speech their swallowing capability, the movement of their upper and lower limbs, their sleep quality, how do they recover during therapy or how do they handle different types of therapy, clinical outcome measures are if they're walking, balance, movement, sweat. So a lot of the participants really recover well during the inpatient setting or when they're in the hospital. The biggest problem is a lot of these gains tend to drop off if they go home. One of the benefits of this is that we're going to be able to follow them and track their performance after they leave here to see how they're functioning in the real world. They have a great team of scientists here uh, at Ability Lab. It's infused with uh, physician scientists who are willing to embrace and work with us on new technologies. And so it becomes a very powerful collaboration, bringing advanced engineering together with rehabilitation science and clinical medicine um, to focus on the patient. This technology and these sensors, I think, could be very useful for patients in recovery. I get data uh, and immediate feedback on my walking, so I, I think that's a very good thing. I think these sensors are a game change in the field of rehabilitation because they allow us to monitor patients on different aspects of their recovery, both in the hospital and in the real world.